So as we get started on this project, let me just say how thankful I am that you're here watching the video. I appreciate you. Hey y'all, APG Jamie here. And today's project is a journal page. Don't run off just yet, cause there's a secret hidey ho with this journal page, okay? So we're gonna use this stencil. I'm not gonna say who made it, but it's you can get it on iStencils.com. This is not a commercial, it's not a promotional, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have started that way. Any hoots. Description box below has a list of ingredients including the name of this stencil and that is really the name of the stencil. It's by those people. Anywho, I am using Nouveau Expanding Mousse. It's uh, a texture paste of sorts and uh, you can let it dry natural and it remains shiny and shimmery or you can hit it with the heat gun y'all and it will actually expand and uh, won't be shiny if that makes any sense I'm not sure if you can see on your screen the change I can't see it on my little Edgerton screen and um, I'm going along and I'm getting you know places it's smooshing up under the stencil and that happens sometimes y'all it just it really does happen to everybody even those people that you may see do do it perfectly every time. Anyways, enough of my yaw-yawing about that kind of stuff. Um, I'm doing a little hit and miss. And um, at one point, early-ish, on-ish, I thought, oh, he can y'all, sorry. I thought um, that this was just not going to work out. Okay, now I had uh, a premise in mind, and two of those premises I had already uh, scratched out. <laughs> so this is like the third time, not the third time starting, but the third time of processing it through my brain, because, you know. Oh, it's called A Perfect Recipe, and that's uh, on behalf of Art Joy of Sharing. That's hashtag A-J-O-S, uh, A Perfect Recipe. Okay. Anyway, and because I've been thinking about it for a while, because sometimes it takes me a while to, I don't know, sometimes sometimes I just think about junk, y'all. And I thought, well, I don't want to do a recipe because, you know, that's just so recipe, right? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. So I thunk up this little poem and I thought, okay, that's the basis of our page and I know what I'm going to do because I saw uh, a hidden pocket some, some time ago and I thought I want to do one like that so anyway so we're working on the background and uh, I wanted to use the expanding mousse because it's drying up y'all you, you got to use it or lose it and uh, we got these beautiful napkins and we're smooshing them down with uh, we're using matte, fluid matte medium y'all because that's the way I like to do it you do what way makes you happy now with that expanding mousse on the background we've got some texture going on and that's what I want it okay so just just bear with me because it was about this point that I'm like well you know I'm just not quite so sure that I like this after all and where can I go with this because it just doesn't look together okay that's what I was thinking in my head it just doesn't look together <laughs> like my stuff always does always with the touch of sarcasms in there Oh, beautiful napkin love the expanding mousse don't use it often near enough and you know he can a lot in this video so I'm like we're going to use the uh, the purpley one Not it's not purple it's just purple lavender purple because those colors are in the napkin and I thought, well, we'll just keep doing this. And this was probably, it was after this, I'm like, I don't know where I'm going with this. 
But I just kept going. I kept going because, I mean, you know, we've already used our expanding mousse. It's not like we could put it back in the jar. So, you know, what do we have to lose now? A penny's worth of expanding mousse? Uh, 0 0.01 cent cardstock? One 16 cents worth of napkin, maybe? Hicking, y'all. So we just kept going with it because I'm like, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen? I throw it away. Ooh, that's just terrible, you know. Cover it up with gesso. Give it a mercy gesso. Mm, you know, it happens to everybody. He can y'all a lot in this video. Any hoobies. Um, I have sped up the video. I have cut some portions out because it is a lot of uh, rinse, wash, rinse, repeat kind of stuff. And I thought, well, let's just use some of these washes that I've already tried to use up back a month or two ago. And I'm like, let's just get some of those out and use similar colors that are in the napkin and just see where we go. So I sprinkled on uh, white, a turquoise, and... Um, a uh, violet color. <laughs> Took me a minute. I'm like, what was that other color? They're washes. It's the sludge left in the bo uh, bottom of your craft bottle. You know, when it's all started drying up and getting old and really thick and icky and snotty and stuff. You just put some water in there. I couldn't tell you how much water. About that much water. Less is better. Start with less and you can add more and shake it up real well and now you got a wash and you can use it. So I sprinkled those three colors on there and I took my napkin back and just started smashing them around because I'm like, oh, I've really screwed it up now. And anyway, I thought, well, you know, I kind of like that. <laughs> so I thought, what else can we do? Let's do some more. So I got the other half of the napkin because y'all saw I really only used half a napkin. And now we're putting it on the page, the other side of the page, you know, on the opposite side. Not on the opposite side. On the top. What was the top before is now the bottom. That's it. In a landscape orientation sort of thing. I hope everybody's had a great holiday so far. Anywho, because it's holiday season. It is now officially holiday season in America. Okay. So we're putting on napkin, and I'm I'm really smooshing it down uh, because we got a lot of texture going on now. You know, we've got napkin, we've got uh, expanding mousse times two, and more napkin, and it's really got some texture going on. And I thought, well, let's use this stencil because I like this stencil. That's why we bought it because we liked it. So we're going to use some uh, black soot, archival black soot, not distress because distress is water soluble and it moves. This is the archival one. Okay. Anyways, I bought the refill ink and a blank ink pad and made my own. That's what I did, okay, because I don't want to buy that package of four different ink pads that I might not have used, okay. Anyway. We're putting it on with the, with the uh, makeup brush from the Dollar Tree because that's what we are doing with the stencil. And the stencil moves around a little bit and that's perfectly a-okay. Because remember, we're thinking this journal page is already, you know, fouled up. So, what are we? We're just having fun now, y'all. So, more matte medium. This page has got like 20 inches of matte medium on it. Not really, but, you know, I didn't count. Y'all feel free to count if you want to. Oh, check out uh, the hashtag AJOS and AJOS A Perfect Recipe and for other artists to see what they have done with this uh, prompt that we got for the month of November in 2021. And uh, so now we're adhering down our deli paper because that was deli paper. I think I forgot to put that in the ingredients. Anyway, we're smooshing that all down. And uh, I covered the whole the whole sheet up so it's all going to be, you know, like the same, same kind of thing. And it knocks everything back, guy. And we're just smooshing our finger around there and making sure everything is all squished down and all that heavy texture, okay? Now we got some letters we're going to put on there. 
guy. It's the it's um, the time of the season. Okay, that's that's what that's what I picked to say. All right, and we're gluing all them letters on there. And I don't remember which die cut I used, so you know, there's that. Just got a part for the course. Something else we left out of the ingredients. Kind of normal, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I want uh, these faces to be just a little darker because, I mean, they look darker on the screen than they did in real life. Okay, just so you know. So I'm going over them with the black Posca, okay, which they're nice to use, y'all. And we're just going over the whole thing, and uh, I, I try to hurry it up, and I don't quite succeed. I make the video go faster. And anyway, anyway, don't forget we got that poem. We still got the poem that we're going to have to do something with, right? I know what we're doing with it. You don't. Not yet. Well, maybe you do. Whatever. Keep watching. Okay. There's a Facebook group for Art Joy of Sharing as well as a, a YouTube channel for Art Joy of Sharing. And those links will be in the description box below just in case you want them. Okay, you don't have to. It's not like a requirement or nothing like that. So there we go. We got our, our stencil lines all marked back in. Our letters are all glued on. I want to make sure my journal page is really dry. So let's say 90% dry guy okay, before I do the next step. I don't know. Am I doing the next step yet? Oh, well, we're, we'll set it aside and let it dry. And then we'll do the next step. Okay? Because, oh, no. Now, we're, we're going to ink around the edge because we're being fancy. See, I need to get my story straight before I start talking. Ah, bless my heart, y'all. So we're inking around the edge, and that is a majestic violet, which just so happens to go with the colors pretty good. I could have went with garden patina, because you know it's one of my favorites too. But we went with the the majestic violet, because that's the color I felt like. And now we're going around the outside with the black, because it just makes a little something something. A little, it just makes it more butter sometimes. Not all the time, but then you also know I don't ink all the time. So now we're moving on to the poem, and I printed it out. And I'm, I know I used a ruler. <laughs> I got it mostly the same size on either side of the poem. Okay, and I end up trimming it a couple more times, but I, I misfilmed that part, meaning I didn't push record when I was redoing that part. And my blade needs to be replaced. So I'm just having to trim up the little fuzzies off the side. And we're going to round the two bottom corners. Just the two bottom corners because those are the only two corners that matter at this time. Okay? And I thought, well, why did I put that ink up? Now i got to get the ink back out because we're going to ink this too. And we ink almost all the way around it. We, we go around it on three sides. Okay? And then we're doing the, the black ink. Black ink as well because you know we're fancy so I had these butterflies from the nap and I'm like well let's put them on this point page because why not we got them we might as well use them so we got out the matte medium and the napkins and we're just gonna stick them on the page and then at some point but I didn't show you because you know I dried a heat gunned the, the butterflies for a few minutes and then I went over the entire page with the matte medium so it would all have the same equal um, matte finish yeah that's what we're doing we had that one little tiny butterfly so we're using that one too we had to pick off some of the extra little edge because we had to it was the law anyway we're doing all that and now we're getting to the part where we're going to cut the page. Mm-hmm. You heard that right. We're cutting it. We're going to cut that end off right there. I'm like, okay, I want to be channel Janet Young of Monkey Island. Use the ruler. Get a nice straight edge. 
we did it. Okay. Now we need to take our little poem, straighten our little page out, because, you know, once they get damp, they can be a little wonky. I think that's about where I want it. Notice I am not using a ruler again. Hey, that's me. Um, so I'm eyeballing it, and I'm like, yeah, it's perfect. I just know it. I don't even have to put a ruler on it. I know it in it. So I'm putting on my favorite glue. We're just because I, you know, this is cardstock uh, to the back of cardstock. I know. But I want it, I want it stuck really good. So anyway, I felt like I need to explain that to you. So we we marked it off and we're sticking it on there. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, it's still perfect when I look at it straight on. So there we go. We're just smooshing it all down. I'm gonna read the poem to you in just a minute, okay? After we do this next stuff, step, then I'm gonna start reading, and then y'all can just watch and enjoy. So we've got a piece of copy paper because the way I put my journal pages because I like working on the flat and then when I put them together in a journal, okay, I don't need to worry so much about the back of them because they'll be all covered up. So we're, we've taken that and we're just reinforcing the one edge that's going to be the pocket, okay, because this is becoming a pocket. Just hang in there. You go, you're going to see. Just stay with me now, y'all. So we're and we're gonna take that and we're gonna glue it onto the back of our journal page. We're gonna square it all up and get it all on there and I'm gonna start reading, okay? And hopefully I don't I'll finish reading before we get to the photo montage. So it's called a perfect recipe. Always contains the base ingredient of love and will account for the unexpected lonely third wheel. Third wheel We'll consider various shades of spilt milk. We'll have just the right amount of drama versus kinship. We'll be just as thick as thieves and should include some frenemies. A perfect recipe is a mixture of wrong and right, regrets and hopes, losses and gains, surprise and predictability. It contains all the necessary parts of holidays and vacation, births and funerals, divorces and weddings, beginnings and endings. But most of all, it consists of you, me, them, us. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. And look, it just fits together like it's supposed to it just made me so happy that it 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 worked <laughs> look at that Ta -da. oh wait wait for that we'll be do doing that in just a moment okay that's an original point by me y'all get ready Ta -da. Photo montage. <laughs> appreciate each and never one of you. And you know, it's this time of year that makes us stop and think, start thinking about love and gratitude and all that good kind of stuff here in the United States. Hopefully everybody's doing that this year. Because, yeah. Don't forget to check out Art Joy of Sharon. Guy. Guy. Oh, we did it, y'all. Thanks for watching and happy arting, 